So I'm come down here and check out the freezer, see what we got going on. This is our beef from uh, last year. You can see like these were the uh, things in and out. So, you know, these were our roast. Those are our steaks. Those were round steak. And then we still got quite a bit of ground beef, but I don't know, we've got another steer. Probably gonna make an appointment for in about three or four months, so we better get to eat. These trees got, or limbs got blown out during a storm, so throw them in with the goats. Goats like them. I'll let them strip all the leaves off and then I'll take and throw it on the uh, pile out there. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Just takes one. Once one comes, they all come. Ollie's leading the pack right there. Some good grass right here in the little goat lot. Good tender grass, they said. Here they come. Let me get the gate open here. And they're off to new pasture. It worked out good. I've been wanting to get them moved and I don't know. It's just prime opportunity with them standing there. We'll go out here and see. I overseeded a lot of clover in this uh, pasture and you probably can't see it from here. I mean, there's some weeds in there, but there's quite a bit of clover out there. So they ought to Get the bellies full. Be content for a little bit. All right, got me and my little buddy. We're going to haul a little hay today. We had false fall last week and hotter than Hades today. It's supposed to be in the hundreds this week, but I think we got about 19 bales. We're going to get them uh, hauled up here to the barn, put up, get them out of the field. Right.
some nice cool about 97 degrees and I don't blame the cows I'd be laying down to humidity is terrible it's got to be over 100 today but I think we're supposed to have a little cool down after this cold front comes through so thank you Lord well if you remember from my last video I had a goat that had quadruplets and of course one of them had died during birth but let's come and check on these other three there they are I was calling the little one Tiny Tim, but then I figured I was a girl, so Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina's cute too. She seems to be doing good. Mama's a uh, she's feeding all three of them, which is good for me. I don't have to bottle feed them. Kind of keep an eye on them, you know, see if I see anything that make me think I need to take one of them off and start bottle feeding them. But they look pretty good. I'm gonna feed these and then we'll take a look at them. There's Tiny Tina. Hey, Tiny Tina. She's a cutie, but they all look healthy to me.